guys. So, massive unboxing. I got three games here. We're going to be unboxing Halo 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and the newly released Hitman Absolution. Let's check them out. Alright, so I'm going to unbox these in order from their release. So we're going to start off with Halo 4, then move on to Black Ops 2, and then Hitman Absolution. Right. So, Halo 4. Uh, I kind of already shared my thoughts about this game. Um, I think Microsoft needs to uh, stop milking their franchises. And really, I honestly believe that Halo should have ended a long, long time ago. Like Halo, when Halo 3 came out, I think that, that just should have been done by then, but no. Halo is undoubtedly a large franchise, and it's a franchise that people love, and that's great and everything like that. And it is a good game. I'm not doubting that this game is any fun, or I'm not saying that the game's, you know, crap or whatever, and uh, or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not doubting the quality of the game. I'm just tired of the same gameplay that's being used to push this game. It's always been the same thing, like... In terms of gameplay, they don't feel very different from one another, and they didn't really do anything to drastically change the gameplay at all, so that's my only gripe, but here's Halo 4. Admittedly, the box art is actually pretty cool. I like the Halo 4 logo up there. Then you have Master Chief with some nice, it uh, looks like he's in a cave and there's like these mountains or something, some some ship crashing, crashing. I, just, I don't know. It looks cool though. Definitely uh, lots of eye candy in there, so that's the front of the case. Looking here on the back, uh, we have the Reclaimer Saga Begins, because they are making another three Halo games. I just can't let it go. And we got the new uh, enemy called the Prometheans. Uh, that does not include Prometheans from that movie Prometheus, so this is something else. And then we got um, some other cool game pictures right here. And then the most anticipated game of 2012, not really for me, but okay. And then the winner of over 30 industry awards because everyone loves Halo, right? It's just amazing, so. All right, that's back of the case. Let's take a look what's in front. All right, on the front of the case, uh, or inside the case, not the front, uh, we have our game disc here. This is a two disc game. We have the first uh, disc here that contains a single player, and then we have the second disc here that, complains, that contains the multiplayer. The second disc does require an extra 7 gigs to your hard drive. You must install it. There is no if, ands, or but. It's a mandatory install to play the multiplayer. So 7 gigs, you better have it. This is kind of interesting. Um, it's, it's nice that Xbox gave you a 14-day Xbox Live Gold trial. You know, that's really nice. Um, but this is also kind of interesting. They uh, tape the warnings and everything to the back of the case because they're a bunch of assholes and they're cheap and they said the hell with a game manual or a pamphlet let's just tape it to the back of the game art or the box art what the hell is this i mean it was bad enough moving from fold colored manuals to all the way down to black and white short page manuals and then the pamphlets but now we have this not even the inclusion of a game manual this is bullshit. I'm sorry. It's complete bullshit. And it's just... I'm getting tired of this, this stuff that's going on, but I guess this is the direction it's heading in right now. I mean, I'm afraid now because what happens if retail games become so scarce and all of a sudden it's all digital anymore? I mean, I don't want to buy a digital copy. Not because my internet's slow. My internet is actually pretty, pretty good, you know? I can probably download what, like a 5 gig game in probably around 20 minutes or so. It wouldn't take that long. But, I, I'm just, I prefer a physical retail copy of all the games I purchase, and when it gets to this point, so bad to the point where now I'm worrying about the whole retail market, I mean, that's gonna crush a lot of stores and stuff like that, but hopefully it doesn't ever come to that, but that is the inside of Halo 4, the game case. It's very plain, very just boring. Let's move on to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. All right, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, again, um, similar to Halo, I'm just tired how Activision seems to be pushing this franchise so much. I mean, I used to love this series, now it's become nothing more than just a regurgitated form of first-person shooting gameplay. They never changed anything. The, the last really major change, or not major, but a drastic change that they did, that's kind of like the same thing. 
the, the most the noticeable change that they ever did with Call of Duty series would be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 because they added weapon movement and inertia, weapon inertia, and that was good and everything like that. I mean, that actually made it look kind of different, but it's been the same animations, been the same engine, and the same regurgitated game, regurgitated gameplay like over and over again. So I'm tired of as well of Call of Duty, but still, like I said, I got these both Halo 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for a really amazing price, and I just couldn't pass it up. So let's take a look at the case. All right, on the front of Call of Duty Black Ops 2, we got uh, some guy sitting there with a pistol and knife, and there's some volumetric lighting effects uh, showing his face. I, I don't know who that is. I can't see who it is, but it's just some some guy, I guess. But uh, let's take a look at the back. All right, the back um, is, a, is as explanatory as the front. We have campaign, multiplayer, zombies. Campaign, multiplayer, zombies. I guess at this point in time, it's almost impossible not to know. I mean, like, everyone knows about Call of Duty, honestly. Like, even if you're not getting it, you know what the story's about. <laughs> so, but that is, um, that's what the box art looks like. And then you have the Nuketown 20, Nuketown, I can't speak, Nuketown 2025 map that's included. It's like bonus map if you bought the game brand new within the first couple of weeks of its release. And uh, so you get a little bonus map there, a little uh, thank you gift from them, so that's nice. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside. Alright, this is the inside, and I apologize, I can't get this to lay down completely flat, but this is the inside. We have our game case here. The box actually feels different. It's made It's made of a completely different material than this. It's more, uh, it feels like stronger plastic. It's actually really nice. I like this a lot. Um, I don't know if it costs less for them to package it like this or not, but this is actually stronger plastic than... than the regular Xbox 360 box art, so that's nice. What we have here is an ad for the Call of Duty Black Ops Season Pass and how to get the Season Pass, I guess. That's nice. And then we have our bonus code here for our two-day Xbox Live Gold trial and our Newtown 2025 map. That's great. And then we have, look, a pamphlet, which is much more of an effort than what Halo 4 just showed us with its printed on game box art warnings and labels so but anyway here it is it's just the controls and that's it but i do like this class i do like the case they did a nice job with the case so that is call of duty black ops 2 let's take a look at the most recent game hitman absolution all right so hitman absolution this just released this week um i've been waiting for this game i'm a really big fan of stealth games i love them i just think they're awesome i'm when it comes to player choice and how you can tackle objectives and stuff in games, I always go for the stealth route because I just love being sneaky. That's just my play style. Some people can't stand it. Personally, I don't understand why. I mean, you can run and gun in basically any game you want, but it takes like it takes real skill, in my opinion, to be able to scope out the area and your enemy's tactics and sneak around them with trying not to be seen. I just love that challenge, you know, and. That's just something I really appreciate about stealth games overall. And, uh, you know, like like Nexus said uh, on Twitter, the whole genre is really underappreciated. Like, no one uh, really appreciates uh, stealth games, and they generally, you know, don't uh, appeal to the general public, unfortunately. But they are a great genre, and I love them to death. Hitman Absolution, this is a game that's been a war along... Uh, uh, I can't speak again. This is a game that's been around for quite some time, but uh, it's good. this is my first Hitman game, so I'm excited to check it out and see what it's all about. Let's take a look at the case. On the front of the case, we have Agent 47 here doing one of his 360 degree turns with his dual pistols, and then we have the Hitman Absolution title right there. Very plain, very, you know, here's Agent 47. He has two pistols, he's gonna shoot you. All right, let's take a look at the back. All right, here's the back of the case. We have another picture of Agent 47 looking pretty pissed or confident. <laughs> it's like a face of confidence right there. Execution is everything. And then we have three different pictures telling us that you can see the world through the eyes of the assassin. You can create your own contracts and challenge uh, the globe. So that's a really nice uh, multiplayer feature that the game actually has to it. And you can hide in place sight by using a uh, disguise. So pretty awesome. Um, this game also supports PhysX on PC, so if you bought the digital retail copy, you can, uh, I'm sorry, the digital copy. That's one thing, I was planning on getting this game on PC, but once I found out it wasn't for retail, I just, 
I opted out. I'm sorry, but I want a retail copy of all the games I purchased. It's just me, but let's take a look what's inside the case. All right, so uh, here's the inside of Hitman Absolution. Uh, we have our game disc here. We actually have a manual. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, a manual? I got excited for a sec, but no, it's actually a pamphlet that's full of that. But Hitman Absolution, you open it up, we have an ad for Tomb Raider. I did pre-order the collector's edition of this game. I'm super excited for it. So I'm definitely getting that on March 5th for the Xbox 360. You open it up, you have game controls. And then you have a, another ad for Sleeping Dogs, um, a pretty good game. So, and then we have our Square Enix uh, registration code. You can register your game, which I'm gonna go do right now. And that is the inside of Hitman Absolution. So, there we go. All right, so to conclude, that was the unboxing of all these uh, games, Halo 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and Hitman Absolution. Pretty good games, uh, you know, overall, I mean, we, you're gonna obviously some people have different opinions on this, but I love Black Ops. Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty. Halo 4 is probably gonna have a good campaign to be honest, but the multiplayer's never never kept me that long. And with Modern Warfare 3, the multiplayer sucked in my opinion. But Hitman Absolution, I'm excited for it. It's gonna be my first Hitman. So hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing, and uh, I'll probably be playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 first. Then I'll probably move on to Halo 4, and then I'll probably move on to Hitman Absolution, alright? But you'll definitely see videos on that in the future, and that'll be that. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.